Welcome to another Education Library Research Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to cover some of the most valuable resources you can consult in the early stages of your research, especially when you're having difficulty choosing a research question or narrowing down your research topic. Defining a research question is sometimes the most difficult step in the research process. Education is a broad field, and it can be difficult to decide which of the many aspects of education to pursue in your research. So if you're still in the process of selecting a topic for your research, or you have a general topic in mind and need to find a way to narrow it down into something more manageable, we recommend seeking out the following resources. Education encyclopedias, handbooks, and dictionaries. These are general reference materials and guides that you can use to find information and definitions for theories, concepts, and terms, either for the field of education as a whole or for a subtopic in the field of education. These are essentially books full of education-related topics, which can save you a lot of time and frustration when you're trying to figure out your research topic or question. Consulting these information sources will also help you to discover ideas and concepts related to teaching and educational research that you might not be aware of, determine a more narrow research focus to pursue within your broader topic of interest, and find resources related to your research question that you can use to begin your research. To give you an idea of what these resources are like, I'm going to open one of our education encyclopedias, the Encyclopedia of Education and Human Development, which is available as an ebook. Now that I have the encyclopedia open, I'm going to start just by opening up the table of contents, which can be a great place to start browsing to get a better idea of the topics covered by this book and to start considering ideas for my research topic. I can see that this particular encyclopedia covers education topics that include curriculum, instruction, assessment, and technologies in education. I'm interested in educational uses of technology, so I'm going to look more closely at that chapter. You'll see the chapter starts with some information about the general topic, after which I can find some subtopics. For instance, there's information on technology-assisted project-based learning, which I might consider as the basis for my research. One more thing that I want to point out is at the end of the chapter. You'll see that there's a list of references and website resources. Looking into these resources can also help you either choose a research topic or find sources to use in your research. If you don't have a particular encyclopedia, handbook, or dictionary to search for at the library, that's okay. Fortunately, it's pretty easy to find these resources in the library catalog. To do so, start on the UBC Library homepage and open the Advanced Search option. In the first field, you can enter the type of resource you're looking for, and in the second row, enter your subject or research topic. I'll just use education to start. You can see that each of these searches has given me lots of great resources to look through. And note that you can also search for these resources with a more specific aspect of education in mind. For instance, if I were interested in learning more about technology in education, I could enter that as a subject instead. And if you're specifically looking for electronic resources, you can use this full text online filter under Refine Your Search. Now you're ready to find education encyclopedias, handbooks, and dictionaries to use as you begin your research. As always, please reach out to the education librarians with any questions, or for more help finding and utilizing these resources. Thanks for watching.